Come on, then. What's the prize task category? Well, Greg, today you and you alone have asked them to bring in the best object with a handle. <laughs> oh, I brought a chess piece queen. Yes, here is the chess Ooh. piece queen. Has it got a handle? That it's got a handle. It has a handle. It has a handle. Where? Here. <laughs> <laughs> what does the king look like? The king looks uh, a little bit like her, slightly different handle. <laughs> 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 Where is it? It's coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Uh, no, that's made me very happy. Oh, thank you. £50 note. It's like the best birthday ever. Get the most surprising thing... ...delivered to the Taskmaster house. You have six hours? The time starts now. Hello, oh, Judy. Delivery! Have a little poke around, see what's in there. I want to see if it's real. I don't like it. Well, you wanted something weird. Surprising. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Judy. What do I do with it? Cook it, Co eat it. Cook it and eat it. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave it to you, babes. Thanks, babe. I can't bring it in here, though. Quite surprised. Exactly. I was surprised at how much I looked like the damn fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, she fulfilled the brief, didn't she? It's very out of character. None of, us, none of us saw a load of awful fish heads <laughs> on top of a skateboard. Never expected that, did you, Alex? And it skateboarded down to us. Mm. I mean, come on. So you spent a fiver on a load of fish guts, put them on someone else's skateboard, and the 45 went to. Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very strong opener. Who's next? It's a strong opener. Just to let you know, uh, Ben from the team did make a fish stew with it and ate it, and apparently it's delicious. <laughs> good that it didn't go to waste. What's next? <laughs> Pork a part of your body out of the shower curtain and waggle it about for ten seconds. The taskmaster will guess what part of the body it is. The biggest part of the body that the taskmaster incorrectly identifies wins. Maybe I can get you. Can I have a wooden spoon, please? On its way, with some yogurt on it. No, no, no yogurt. Hold the yogurt. Um, Arthur, I am sort of intrigued by the wooden spoon and the yogurt. Will that become apparent? I imagine. The thinking at the time was that if I could maybe beat some part of my body with the wooden spoon, it might swell into a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that would be it. <laughs> into an unlikely shape. I don't know. First up, Greg, what part of Judy Love is this? I'm going to say that that's your foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor old Ardle's covering himself in yoghurt <laughs> whacking himself with a stick. <laughs> and I think you just put your foot out. Let's see what it is. Oh! oh nice. Work. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Well, there we go. We have a point right. on the board. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> well, it can only be his hand or his foot. It's uncharacteristic for Chris to be lazy. That's why I'm not going straight for arm. Or am I double bluffing you? Or are you double bluffing me? <laughs> Let's say it is a double bluff and say it's his arm. OK. Let's have a look. Oh. He's on the cow. 
OK, well, it's Ardle next. This is going to be difficult, because whatever body part it is, is going to be beaten out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this and do your best. It's hard to believe that a wooden spoon could do that much damage. <laughs> what is that, Greg? It's Ardle's arm, obviously. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why are you wearing trousers? <laughs> you don't need to not wear trousers. I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't know. He was hoping that you would think it was his neck. <laughs> that was his plan. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. <laughs> Next. It's time to get soapy in the Sophie in the shower. Here we go. I knew you would commit to this. <laughs> and my instinct is you've dislocated something. <laughs> I genuinely haven't got a clue what that is. <sighs> oh. It's... Greg, you need to give me an answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's her weird limp arm then. Let's see, what part of Sophie that is. Oh, she's oh. a genius. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Comfortable? Not at all, not at all. The last person to see is Bridget Christie. So what part of her is this? That's <laughs> 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 absolutely terrifying. It's one of two things. You've put your hat on top of your foot thus, and you're nodding, or you've just stuck a sheet over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what part of the body this is. Ah! <laughs> there you are. Hi. Oh, very good. Why are you dressed like that? You winded me up. It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan. It's to create buzz. It's too hot. It's this is the same it's... temperature as something that's burning. Because it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? We lived in the Pink Palace. It's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting on them. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could. <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What would your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an accountant, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs>